Welcome back Titans. Today we're talking about med math, specifically volume to be administered. So anytime we're doing med math, we're drawing up medications or we're um, using a pre-filled syringe, we usually know the dose of what we want to give the patient. It could be micrograms, milligrams, grams, but there's a quick equation to determine how many mLs you're drawing up and be accurate about it. So let's start with cardizem, our first example, and we'll do a few more. So when you look at a bottle of medication or a pre-filled syringe or anything else, you want to look at a few things. The first thing you want to look at is the total volume. This is going to be the entirety of the liquid in that vial or that bag or that pre-filled syringe, any of those things. So in our cardizem, our total volume is 5 mLs. We're also going to look at the total weight. The total weight is the total amount of drugs suspended in that liquid which is 25 milligrams. How do I get my concentration if it's not written on the bottle, which it is here, but all we have to do is take our total weight of our drug, which is 25. We're going to divide it by five, which is our total volume, and it's going to give us our concentration, which is five milligrams per ml. So how much medication am I drawing up? We said that we have five milligrams per ml, and our equation is simply going to be our desired dose divided by our concentration. What do we want and what do we currently have on hand? So let's say our cardizem dose is 20 milligrams. All I have to do is divide my 20 milligrams, which is my desired dose, by my five milligram per ml concentration, and that's going to give me four mLs, is how much I'm drawing out of that vial. The key part of this is you always have to know what the concentration is in your medication. So let's take our dopamine here. Let's talk about the volume. The total volume is 10 mLs. We know the total weight suspended in that volume is 400 milligrams. We do 400 divided by our 10 mLs, and it's gonna give us our concentration, which is 40 milligrams per mL. Now let's plug in a desired dose. Let's say your standing order was uh, 250 milligrams. All we're going to do is take a calculator, do our 250 milligrams. We're going to divide it by our concentration, and it's going to give us 6.25 mLs. And that's going to be your total volume that you're drawing up for your patient. Hope this helps. Um, always cross check your medications, and I'll see you on the next one.